Welcome back to the Reforged channel. Today's video is about a gameplay building. Many of you will know how important it is to get an advantage in the beginning of the game by getting the gold from the troll creep. Sometimes things get really exciting when both opponents are equally strong and both want to get the gold from the same troll creep. Some will even forfeit a match when they don't get the creep. Alright, about the trolls, we decided to make them larger than the ones in the old Battle for Middle Earth. To better understand their approximate proportions, we watched the scene of the fight between the Fellowship and the Cave Troll in Moria. Of course, the game and the film are very different, but we think that the Cave Trolls in Battle for Middle Earth are too small. So we made them bigger. But once we did, another issue instantly emerged. The lair size remained the same. So how could we handle this? We didn't want to make a very big building, as general proportions in an RTS are quite compact. We imagined that the trees and the rocks are just the upper part of a cave, the rest of which is subterranean. After all, cave trolls are called cave trolls for a reason. The troll can't leave the building while standing on his feet, so now he crawls out of the cave instead. In order to do so, we created a special animation for the troll, and now the building size can remain as compact as before. The building itself, of course, we recreated from the ground up and created the animation for its construction, destruction, and prepared textures for charred trees and rocks. We're glad because we made this asset quite optimized. The model doesn't have that many polygons, but thanks to advanced shaders, it looks like a very detailed building. All of that is extremely important for the game itself, as optimized assets greatly reduce the chances of having lag in-game. You have seen the troll itself in one of our previous videos, but now instead of dancing, his animations, his movements are savage. He will attack anyone who dares to come close to his lair. Huge thanks for your attention, thumbs up and donations. We are still getting new letters and audio files for voiceovers. We'd like to remind you that we want the units in our game to have a proper voiceover. For those who lacked a decent voiceover in the original Battle for Middle Earth, and for those who now need an appropriate new voiceover such as Thranduil. Besides, if you are capable of creating beautiful 3D models, if you're capable of painting or C++ programming, if you want to join a friendly and international team and take part in an interesting project to get new experience and speed up the development, please have a look on our website or our forum for how to join our team. Reforge Team, out.